everybody, this is Nia Boaz Filer. I know, I know, I've missed a few days of a video. Oh my goodness. So first of all, I want to apologize. But secondly, I want you to know that you don't need me. And I've missed these days, these two days in the video, only for good reasons, because of parenting and being with my child and working my little beautiful ass off. Because I have, since lowering my prices of readings and classes, I've literally got such a wave of work that I don't even want to bring prices up. I believe a different world is possible and I'm keeping my low prices because if this goes on, I am not asking any more than that. It's enough for me. I love working long hours. I love teaching many students and I feel blessed. I feel blessed. And now, as my little girl is going back to kindergarten, I have more time off and, and again time to do these videos because it takes about a day to work on them each week. A day that I didn't have. And I was happy about the fact, <coughs> excuse me, I was happy about the fact that you're going to deal with having a day or two without Nia Boaz saying anything about it. And I'm sure that some of you had the urge to look for other astrologers or mystics to give you something about the energy of the day. But truly, this time is about you going inward. You have a direct connection, my friend. It's about understanding that there are no leaders and leaded, are no enlightened and, 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 and disciples. That you are your own master, your own leader, your own hero. Emancipate yourself, free yourself of these shackles. We are no longer followers. And one day the stories and legends would be about the where we followed and how our trails led others <laughs> in, our, in our footsteps and how humanity has stepped into a new realm, a realm of self-responsibility and independence. You are a little creator. Ask your heart the energy of the day, the energy of the week, and your heart shall answer. And that's a promise. <laughs> so, if we go um, talking about this week, we are here in a Venus retrograde in the sign of Gemini, but still, and you know, and this is considered traditionally a time that we could suffer in our relationships and income. And things can deteriorate in those Venusian aspects that bring satisfaction to our life. And that usually brings some kind of melancholy, a mourning for something that is now withering and would no longer be as it was. So I want to explain that, because this week is all about business, it's all about building a new platform, it's all about updating your career and how you do things. Yes, in a Venice retrograde. And this time, it's all about updating. If you'll change things, if you'll do things differently, if you'll change the software from which you navigate and do commerce with your environment, the ideas and thoughts that frame your behavior, your networking, the information you feed yourself. If you learn a few new things through this time and bravely do things in a new manner, you gain to win a lot, to, 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 to amplify your ability to do business and commerce and, and as I said, provide yourself with a platform that would go on for months. And this new moon coming at the end of this week is all about that. It's a Gemini new moon trining Saturn, which is in charge of career and establishing new, I'm sorry for the noises, new mercurial ideas, new framework, you know, new software to put into the hardware. 
new ideas to put into the framework that can update the way we navigate and do commerce and communicate with one another. And this would go on all through this month. So very simply put, if you don't update now, you are going to mourn the withering old world that was once here before Corona, but would no longer return. But if you are updating, you gain much. You win a lot. And you learn a few things in the process. And it's a very communal atmosphere. I mean, our brothers and sisters are learning it as well. We're all in this together. <clears throat> I want to talk about days that are exceptionally lucky through this week. The 16th, especially the 17th, the 18th, up to the morning of the 19th, are exceptionally lucky for business, for deals, for commerce, for expansion. A bit of gamble, you know, believing that things can be better is important here. Not an uncalculated gamble, not a naive one, but yes, believing that things can get better. That's important. Excellent days to do that. The 19th and the 20th are much more relentless and they need a calming effect. You need to be more um, objective and less emotional and obsessive about things through the 19th and the 20th. The 20th itself is a fast past, is a, is a fast moving day. Sun heads into the sign of Gemini and the need for information update and a faster pace and more modern pace in general is uh, intensified. The moon is conjunct Uranus. Um, our nervous system is on higher alert throughout the 20th and the 21st. I want us to calm a little down. And through the 21st and the 22nd, we have a conjunction between Venus and Mercury. Venus in retrograde, conjuncting the planet of communication and commerce. And they are both squaring Neptune. So this is already a time that I want you not to do long-term decisions. I want you to do them beforehand. I want you to listen in on the 21st and the 22nd more than... Uh, you know, uh, speak and articulate yourself. I want you to listen into the ether, to the muses, and try and visualize what it is that you want to bring into this practical world, to this reality, to the subtleness of what this world is whispering, the universe is whispering to you. But don't make any big decisions just yet if you haven't done them uh, beforehand. Because the 21st, 22nd, you know, these are days that are a bit confusing, misty, and not good for articulating decisions. And more for union with great spirit, union with, um, you know, things that are out of space and time, like the frontal cerebral cortex, the more of the right mind. The Friday, 22nd, is a new moon in Gemini, trining Saturn. It's going to have an effect on all this moon. So remember, a day before, through the new moon, and a day after are imprinting days. Imprinting days, the energy that you carry throughout that time is going to be carried throughout the 29 and a half days of this lunar cycle. So be aware of what goes through you. And push forward, push forward with that uh, update, <coughs> in a sense, with that communion, in a sense because it's going to follow you throughout that month. Uh, Saturday the 23rd, a bit uptight, um, nerves on a high point again, calm yourself down, enhance your calm, John Spartan, this demolition man, novelist, Philip K. Dick once wrote. Um, I want to remind you that Zoom courses and readings with me are available in a 40 percent discount and of course if you have any questions and you want to schedule just reach out all the details are in the slide at the end of this video may we all and us may we all live long
and prosper. Bye-bye.